Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad to have you back today for a new reading. I hope that all of you are doing amazing today and having a wonderful day. So into today's reading, we'll be looking into where is the path that you're currently on taking you to or where is it leading you to? And we have three piles to choose from. We have pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. Please feel free to choose any pile that you feel most drawn to, and then you can skip to the timestamps, which are in the description box, and I will see you guys at your reading. Hello, my beautiful pile number one. If you guys chose this pile, then this is going to be your reading today about where is your current path taking you to. So pile one for your card today, you guys chose the writer card. Okay, very beautiful image here. And I want to say with this card, pile number one, that currently with the path that you're on, I definitely feel like you're making progress and moving forward. Like that's the main energy of this card is it's kind of like the chariot card in the tarot where it basically tells us about moving forward, making progress. Uh, I also just saw the number 111 on the screen, so it could be significant for you. Also indicating that you guys are on alignment, I feel as well. Uh, but interesting message that I picked up for you, pal number one, is that I feel that some of you are maybe pursuing like a childhood dream of yours right now, or maybe that is something that you're being called to pursue. So that can be confirmation for some of you, but it feels like you're you're like on a mission. Like that's kind of what I'm getting with this image. It feels like you you know your goal, you know your aim and you know where you're going. And I feel like that's why you're also making progress and moving forward because I feel that those of you who chose this pile, you know where you want to go with this path. So it feels like you're doing it very like on purpose. You're doing it with a plan. So I feel that spirit wants to let you know that you guys are making progress. You're moving forward with this path that you're currently on. And again, I feel that some of you are maybe pursuing like a childhood dream of yours, or you maybe want to pursue something, something from your childhood. I feel like it's coming up in your reading today, especially because you felt also drawn to this like child charm here. So some of you might be really connected with your childhood here. Let's start with your cards, pile number one, and let's see where is the path that you're currently on taking you. Spirit guides and angels, can you please give us messages for my beautiful pile number one on where is their current path taking them to? Where is pile number one's path taking them to? Okay, let's see. So the first card you have is Miracles. Wow, such a beautiful and positive card to receive in a question like this. I feel the outcome of wherever you're going is gonna feel like a miracle. You know, it's gonna be, it's gonna really feel good. Let's see your other card. And you also have patience, wow, okay. So yeah, I feel that a lot of you have been patient though. Maybe a lot of you on this path that you have been going because it does feel like a lot of you have been like going somewhere with a goal, with like a end goal in mind. And maybe your um, journey this whole progress, this whole process has required you to be very patient. Maybe it has been something that you guys have been doing for years as well. But I want to say that the miracle is where you're going. There is going to be the miracle, uh, a miracle at the end of your journey. And the path that you're currently moving on is leading you guys to a miracle. So miracles are beautiful, right? Miracles are some, they feel like a blessing. They feel, I, I really don't feel like there's another word to, to describe a miracle except with a miracle right so i feel you have a very straightforward answer from your spirit guides is that the path that you're currently on is leading you towards miracles pile number one and i feel that only your imagination and you yourself can tell you what this miracle is going to mean for you because for every person is going to be so personal and different but it's you know it's that vision that you have in mind right and you have patience, so your spirit guides are also telling you, you know, just stay a little bit more patient. Um, or it's like indicating the patience that you have been putting in so far. Because I do feel that a lot of you have been in like that chariot energy of just like going forward with a specific goal in mind or a specific vision in mind. And you have been very patient, right? It's giving me seven of pentacles energy. So very nurturing towards what you have been doing and just making sure that you do it right rather than rushing it uh, and i feel that you have been like making really good progress you know slow but steady progress um and you know this type of miracle that you receive 
it's not just gonna go to waste that's also something that i'm picking up about you because um you know we can we can get lucky in life but if we are not prepared to how to work with that how to work with the miracle or the luck then it's gonna feel like a waste it's nothing is gonna change right but i feel that a lot of you are prepared to receive this because when you get it um you're gonna have such a strong uh, like self foundation that you have built and you're gonna know what to do with this miracle to make it stable to make it stay in your life you know miracles are not meant to come and go they're meant to stay in our life and i feel that when we are prepared to receive them that's how we make them stay because we know how to take care of them we know how to use that opportunity to change the course of our life and i feel a lot of you are ready to do that here so expect miracles okay very straightforward message let's get your tarot cards here pile number one uh so far so good i feel for you Let's see what else. Where is your current path leading you towards? For my lovely Pond number one universe, where is your current path leading them to? Okay, let's just get four cards today. And let's take a look here. The path that you're currently on, where is it taking you? Okay, let's see. So first you have the page of pen, uh, page of cups. Sorry, yeah, definitely there is there is some kind of like miracle or luck in play here because uh, the page of cups, the fish coming out of the cup here, it symbolizes good luck. It symbolizes good fortune or like an unexpected blessing uh, because you know the the fish it symbolizes blessings. It symbolizes miracles, abundance. It has the type of like lucky energy to it. And um, with the page of cups, this is this like person is surprised by the opportunity that they, they're receiving and um, by kind of like the luck that they're receiving. But sometimes with a page of cups, it can mean, you know, that this person like is getting lucky in life, but do they exactly know what to do with it? Which is what I was saying about before, where I feel that you guys are prepared to also receive this miracle and this blessing in your life because you're gonna know what to do with it. You're gonna use it in a very smart way. Let's see the rest of your cards. You guys also have the Eight of Cups. Oh, I like this. Okay. Um, Five of Pentacles. Look at this. The prayer being answered for you guys. I feel that you have been praying for this for a very long time. Maybe you have been praying for miracles, right? That's also something. The Empress. The card of receiving. Okay, yeah. You're definitely receiving your prayers. You're definitely receiving miracles here is what I'm getting. So... I feel that this path that you're currently on, uh, the main, a big theme that I'm seeing here for you here, it's going to allow you to leave your past for good. So there, maybe it's like the sense of self that you have been identifying with. Maybe it's the place that you're living. Maybe it's the things that you have been doing. Maybe it's a job that you you've been having to do or whatever you guys, whatever has felt like a burden to you. That's what I'm picking up. Like whatever has felt like a burden to you in the recent past, um, this miracle is going to allow you to leave your past for good it's going to allow you to leave something in the past for good because it's going to give you the opportunity to um, explore new horizons in your life and i feel that a lot of you you haven't really praying recently maybe you haven't connected more with your um a spiritual source maybe with god your spirit guides your angels i do feel that a lot of you uh this is like confirmation recently you have been really connected and communicating with the divine source uh, maybe you know you have been praying maybe you have been again asking for guidance asking for advice and i i, I feel that this card showing up for you you know the universe wants to let you know that your prayers have been heard and your wishes have been heard and expect the miracles to come into your life because the empress is the card of the divine feminine which is the card of you know divine attraction so i want to say that right now in your current path you're attracting a lot of miracles you're attracting a lot of blessings and a lot of your prayers being answered i do feel that the universe is going to give you a push here upon number one because but you're ready for it you know you're ready for this push um i do feel that throughout our lifetime we kind of have to give our own work and then also allow for the universe to give its own thing and i feel that the universe is almost like meeting you halfway here in something and they're gonna give you a push 
on your path because you guys are deserving of it because you have been doing the right things and you have been approaching things in the right way so i feel that you guys are ready for this opportunity now interesting okay beautiful let's get another card for you pile number one where is this current path leading you to okay this card wants to come out for you let's see you have moon flower bloom even as if no one is watching wow are you i feel that you guys are ready to bloom maybe you're ready to show yourself out to the world um maybe you want to present yourself in a different light to the world as i mentioned i feel that there's a lot about you leaving your past for good here in your pile like that's something that i'm picking up also glow up the empress is about um glowing up in your appearance glowing up in your status i feel that people maybe who knew you from the past are gonna you know have that reaction of like wow they've changed so much of, to the point where like they can't even recognize you i do feel that you you have changed a lot as well as what i'm picking up recently maybe you have been working on yourself a lot maybe the past few years although i feel that this journey that you have been on it has been maybe for like a, it has been a long time i don't feel it's something that just started recently i feel that you guys have been at this for a pretty long time and it feels like you're almost at um, the end of a journey or an end of a chapter of your journey more so because i feel like you know our journey is never gonna end um it's gonna be there for the rest of our life but it feels like you're just kind of ending like a chapter or like a phase of this journey um and you have glowed up a lot like that's something that i'm picking up like you physically uh, spiritually um knowledge wise wisdom wise in every aspect of your life i do feel that you guys have glowed up a lot and you have your bloom even if no one is watching i honestly kind of feel like people are now gonna start to watch you like that's kind of if you guys have been like blooming or working behind the scenes while like nobody has been watching you nobody has been giving you the attention but guess what with the empress now you're gonna receive you're gonna start to receive you're gonna start to see the difference i feel that a lot of people are actually gonna start to watch you right now pile number one maybe you guys want to do something online as well but it does feel like um you know even if it's not online it's going to be by the people in your life i feel people are gonna start to see you in a much uh, different light where it's like wow like this person is really doing great they're really doing amazing they've changed so much like that's kind of what i'm picking up for you let's see what else universe what would you like to tell to panama one regarding the path that they're currently on and where is it taking them so let's see here where is your current path taking you a new day yeah there is a sense of like a new beginning a new chapter of your life starting here and this is kind of giving me like maybe you are moving somewhere you're transitioning between cities as well this is going to allow you to kind of change the chapters of your life right um but i do feel you know there's this positive you know the the sun is rising in your life right there's this positive miracle coming in your life here overall expect good energies in your future and you guys also have springtime renewal wow and you know we're just about to step into springtime kind of like right now we're in you know end of january beginning of february so if you're watching this video right now you know expect during springtime a lot of shifts a lot of changes maybe you're planning to transition between cities at that time or just in general like do something different make some kind of change so this is going to set like okay this is the new chapter of my life this springtime um yeah you know i feel that a lot of you maybe in leading up to springtime you're kind of in this energy of like okay in when springtime starts like i have this project plan and this is gonna happen i'm gonna do this so it feels like um in the springtime you have a lot of things planned and i want to say that this spring is going to be quite life-changing for you this is when you guys are going to receive your miracle during springtime so spirit is giving us like a time for you as well springtime is going to be very significant polymer one for you guys i love this maybe this is the period where your where your prayers are going to be answered as well but i do feel that you're you know you, you have bloom here as well and 
um, the flowers bloom in springtime. So that's perfect. I feel that during springtime you're blooming. This is when it's going to be your time, springtime. So prepare yourself for spring. Uh, especially with the Empress, I feel that like this is when your guys are going to be ready to come out, perhaps show this new version of yourself because it does, and you know, fully leave that past behind. So I feel that in springtime, you'll be making like this transition between being behind the scenes and working on yourself behind the scenes to showing yourself to the world. And I feel a lot of people are going to be amazed by you. Wow, beautiful energy, upon number one. So in your reading, I'm going to get you an angel number message. Maybe a number that you have been seeing a lot will show up for you. As I mentioned in the beginning, I saw the number 111 for you. But let's see. For my lovely poll number one universe, what is the message you would like to tell them regarding the path that they're currently on and this journey? Okay, I got the number nine on the bottom of the deck, so maybe that's significant. Um, but let's see your card here. Wow, 444, four, four, beautiful. I am protected. Trust your journey. Wow, speaking about your journey. So trust your journey. Trust the way your life unfolds. And trust that you are where you need to be at the present moment. I am protected. Wow, this is a very straightforward and confirmational message, poem number one. I feel that the universe wants to let you know that the journey that you're currently on, right, the path that you're currently on, is leading you towards where you want to go. So just have trust with how your journey is unfolding right now um, and trust that you're where you're supposed to be at the moment. You know, have patience. Um, I know it's really nice to have things and I know it's really nice to receive things, but just trust the way that and the process of how things are unfolding for you. Um, just because we receive something instantly or in a fast way doesn't mean that it's, you know, it's going to make it stay in our life forever. So I feel that um, slow but steady progress is the best because it builds foundation. It, bring, it brings structure to life and it's going to last forever, especially with the number four. Uh, I feel that this is indicating that the, the way that things are unfolding in your life right now, they're unfolding in a way where they're going to stay there forever. So what you're going to receive after this or during springtime is going to stay in your life forever because you guys didn't take the easy way out of something. That's the main thing that I'm picking. So you guys are protected currently. The path that you're currently on is protected, is divinely guided. Um, and you guys are where you're supposed to be. So this is a confirmation that you are aligned on your path. So just keep doing what you're doing because it does feel like you're moving forward and making progress. So that's what I have for you today, poll number one. I hope that this reading resonated with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Hello, my beautiful poll number two. If you guys chose this pile, then this is going to be a reading today about where is your current journey or path leading you to. So pile two for your card today, you guys chose the ship card. So this is the ship card in this deck. And you also have the number 10, number 3, so that the number 13, I'm kind of getting the death card as well. Um, for some of you, you know, this card is about like travel, it's about changing locations, adventures, moving forward. So I do feel that the path where you're currently on, maybe some of you are planning to move, maybe you're planning to travel somewhere soon. But I do feel the main energy for you is that the path that you're currently on is leading you to a lot of changes. And these are positive changes with the clover that you chose. So I feel that there is going to be a lot of positive shifts, a lot of positive changes occurring in your life. Um, maybe you traveling or moving somewhere is going to shift something positively within you. But overall, you know, with the shift, this can also represent our movement through life um, and our travel, our journey through life. So I feel that it's leading you to changes, positive changes, okay? Some things like might be coming to an end that don't serve you anymore, welcoming new and better energies in your life or maybe tough periods are coming to an end is also what I'm hearing for you. Let's get some oracle cards, poll number one. So that we, poll number two, sorry. Maybe you also felt drawn to a poll number one, but let's see. Where is your current path and journey taking you to? For my lovely poll number two universe, can you please give us an answer for poll two? Where is their current path and journey taking them to? For pile two. All right, let's see. So the first card, first you have protection, beautiful. So it means that the journey, the path that you're currently on is very heavily protected. Uh, yeah, maybe you do felt also drawn to poll number one because they also received protection. 
in their pile um so maybe you want to watch that as well maybe there's some messages for you there as well oh and miracles yeah polymer one also got the same card wow okay so maybe you guys um are connected with polymer one or there's just similar messages here first thing i want to say um i'm kind of getting for you polymer two I feel a lot of you maybe want to take some risks right now or this journey that you're going on it feels like it's you know you're trying to do something different that's kind of what i'm getting maybe you're planning to move right that's a big thing uh, i feel that there's like big changes that are upcoming in your life so maybe it's something like moving maybe it's launching this business maybe it's launching this project maybe it's applying to this school or making a big decision to change between jobs right it's like uh, i feel that the journey currently where you're on it feels like you're making big decisions big moves uh big leaps of faith and um you know this requires a lot of protection from the universe as well uh when the protection card shows up in a reading uh it always 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 has to do with something like we're doing something big so the universe wants to let us know that we'll be safe on the journey for me especially like when i do readings for myself whenever i travel somewhere or i'm planning to do something big always the protection card shows up um because the you know the universe just wants to reassure you that throughout this process of maybe especially for travel i notice for travel it shows up a lot for me like um when you're traveling just the universe wants to let you know like your travel will be will be going smooth like your flight will be on time things will go smoothly um because i know traveling can be a bit like messy sometimes so i feel for you the universe wants to let you know that if you're traveling somewhere you're going to be protected you're going to be safe on the way but also is letting you know that throughout this process of big changes expect miracles to show up for you as well right uh, expect the universe to be there to help you on this journey to protect you uh, when you need help you know suddenly the right people are going to show up suddenly the right opportunities are going to show up to fix whatever issue you have or whatever is going on in the situation so uh, throughout this process of making these big changes i feel that the universe is supporting you and will send you miracles to protect you and to take care of you um so beautiful palm number two yeah i feel that the universe is giving you like a go ahead to pursue with these changes that you want to make um or maybe this big leaps of faith especially with the clover i feel that you're backed up by protection you're packed up by good luck let's get your tarot cards so we can see more about the details here for you this one fell out for you let's see what else for my beautiful pal number two universe, where is their current path taking them to? Can you please give us their answer? Thank you. All right, let's see your tarot cards for today. So let's see where is your path taking you. First, you have Queen of Cups. Wow straight to your desires that's the first thing that i heard with the queen of cups straight to where you guys want to go straight to your wishes straight to your manifestations because the queen of cups is the one who attracts all that they desire do you see how peacefully she's just holding her cup not worrying just sitting in that divine feminine energy knowing that everything is happening for a reason everything is balanced everything is unfolding at its own time and she shall receive whatever she desires right the gender doesn't have to mean but it's the queen so it does have like feminine energy so i feel that you guys are currently attracting a lot of miracles you're currently attracting a lot of good things in your life i want to say because i feel a lot of you you have stepped into that energy of balance of the energy of trust of faith i feel a lot of you don't feel scared anymore about life um, yeah that's something that's beautiful i feel i heard that very strongly for you i feel a lot of you you have stopped fearing life you have stopped fearing of how things are unfolding or if things are happening slow for you or if things are happening fast for you i feel that you're starting to accept that things are happening at the right time for you and i feel a lot of you have reached this really beautiful energy of balance that is going to allow you to basically attract anything that you guys wish for because it's all about that it's about being in that energy of attraction being in the energy of balance 
while we are in the energy of fear, it's really difficult to attract the things that we want because we fear them. And how is something that we fear going to come to us? So a lot of you, you're, you're currently in the energy of attracting a lot of miracles. You also have these seven of swords. You guys are very heavily protected. Very heavily protected. Especially from people um, almost like side-eyeing you or something like that. Like especially from people getting in your way or events getting in your way. You're heavily protected. That's something big I'm picking up. You also have the four of pentacles. Yeah, so I was talking about fears. And the four of pentacles can show up as like fear around money, fear around um, or being very like uh, frugal with money to the point where we start to fear money. You know, there's nothing wrong with being smart with our money and being uh, conservative when we spend, you know, being mindful is what I want to say. But um, sometimes um, being too extreme in that energy can lead to uh, having fears around money. I feel this is something that you guys will be letting go of here as well. Oh, and the star card. Yeah, I feel a lot of you're ready to shine. You do have similar energies with polymer one. Okay, similar, but the messages are kind of different, but maybe you want to check that one as well because you might find some things resonating there for you. Uh, but it does feel like first things first I'm getting as well that you guys are ready to let go of fear around money, fear around lack. Again, I feel that you're going to be able to finally cut out that fear out of your life, which has been preventing you from making maybe the progress faster than you have been wanting or just, uh, again, I feel that things are unfolding for you at the right time and maybe this is just the right time for you to let go of this fear as well. But I do feel fear is something that you guys will be leaving behind and I feel your faith will become much stronger here. Uh, just sitting and knowing that whatever you desire is on your way, is coming your way, and you're just going to be able to attract it. Uh, another big message I'm seeing for you, as I mentioned, is protection. So the Seven of Swords, you guys are really protected against people right now, against unfortunate events, things like that. You're heavily protected. The universe, I feel really strongly, wants to let you know. And I feel this is because they want to let you know because maybe you have fear whether you're going to be able to support yourself financially, whether you're going to be able to support this project financially. Um, I feel that the universe wants to let you know you're safe when it comes to the, those kinds of things. And you also have the star card indicating that this journey is all leading you towards you shining brightly, towards your fulfillment, towards you. Maybe you want to do something online again with pile number one, there's similar energies. Um, or just shining in your field, you know, being that one who people are just wowed by. Uh, I definitely feel that you guys are on the way to that. Beautiful. Let's get another card for you, pile number two. Where is your current path leading you to? For pile number two, universe. So you guys have magic wand. Focus your energy on one thing. So the universe wants you to focus your energy on one thing right now. With the, Maybe some of you are focused on one thing right now. The path, maybe it's creation here. This is kind of reminding me of the Ace of Wands. Maybe there's a project that you're currently working on or something. Maybe you're learning something as well. Uh, maybe there's a skill that you guys are developing. Maybe you, there's a business that you want to start, you want to plan. Uh, but focus on one thing at the moment okay because if you focus on this right now it's going to become really big that's what i'm picking up so with the journey that you're currently on just focus on one thing maybe also focus on one desire or focus on uh the one big goal of sort for your life currently right um because it feels like it needs your attention it needs your focus right now so just don't distract yourself with other things or things that are just not that important at the moment it feels like there's something that you need to prioritize right now in your life um when it comes to finishing things up getting things done so the universe ju is just kind of giving you some advice here let's see what else where is your current journey leading you to pile number two for my lovely pile number two where is their current journey leading them to let's see so you guys have projections so this is all about the visions that we have all about the life that we want to live, the life that we want to project. I, I do feel that you're being led to your dream life as well. So with all of these leaps of faith that you're making, with all of these big, you know, jumps, I feel that you are being led to your dream life. And you guys also have the portal. Wow. Oh, and look at the feather here. Protection. I'm saying you guys are so protected. 
you might notice a lot of feathers around you, a lot of numbers, maybe repeating numbers, um, but you're being led to the portal. Where is your current path taking you? To the portal of your projections, to the portal of the life that you guys want to live. So just focus on this one thing right now because this is going to make you shine. This is going to make you like stand out. I feel that you guys need to focus a lot of your time and efforts onto one specific thing so that you make it right because this is going to give you the opportunity to shine. This is going to give you the opportunity to be recognized for something is what I'm feeling. I think that, I think good things are coming your way, okay? Especially with the miracles, protection. I mean, a lot of positive messages for you, Polybird 2. To end your reading today, I'm going to get an angel number card. Maybe a number that you have been seeing will show up for you. But let's see. For my lovely poll number two universe, what is the message you want to tell them? Wow, I'm successful. Oh, you also have zero on the bottom. I am limitless. Okay, maybe you also wanted to read this one. Let me just focus it for you, just in case for some of the, some of you who want to. But you have the number eight, which is the number of abundance, number of wealth. So something about money, I want to say money is coming in, so don't worry about that. Uh, your talent for setting and reaching goals is like no other. You're self-sufficient and capable of achieving your ambitions. Uh, represent, be representing the ebb and flow, the infinite loop of creation. So interesting, you have something about ebb and flow here. And I was mentioning how you guys are stepping more in the flow and the balance. So I feel like that's confirming. Uh, also the star and you have your talent and setting and reaching goals is like no other. You're sufficient of success. So it does feel like you guys are um, very talented. The universe wants to let you know that you're very talented, talented in especially I feel creative things or creating things like, um, you know, creation is not just about like music or um art creation is also about creating success right uh, the ability the talent to create success i feel like you're you know those type of people who can start from zero. Oh, maybe that's why we saw the zero for you um i feel that you're those type of people who can basically start from zero and build to a hundred in in no time like you find it so easy to just start things and build them up because you have that kind of mindset of like i can be left with nothing and I can just start again and I will be there in no in no time again like uh, like nobody can defeat me I feel like you have that type of like talent mindset where you're like I can do whatever I want you know I can project whatever I want in my reality and that's just the way it is um, so I feel a lot of you you have like this talent not just for creative things but for creating success in life and I feel that the path that you're currently on is going to lead to a lot of success Okay, see how successful I'm successful. This creation that you're working on is going to lead to a lot of success for you, pal number two. Beautiful message. And I hope that this resonated with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Hello, my beautiful pal number three. If you guys chose this pile, then this is going to be your reading today about where is the path that you're currently on leading you to. Uh, so for your card today, you guys chose the tower card in this deck. Okay, beautiful image. Maybe some of you resonate with friends. Maybe you're from France. Maybe you're from Paris. Maybe you want to travel there. So that's the first thing that I'm seeing with this card. But actually the tower in this deck specifically, it means stability. It means foundations. And I see something about your self-esteem also rising. So it's giving me energy that a lot of you, maybe you have been working on your like self-concept or you have been working on improving your confidence, improving your self-esteem. I see that working for you. But I, I feel that you guys have been maybe also focusing on creating more stability in your life. So I feel like that's coming around here with the path that you're currently on. You're going to be able to build um, really strong foundations in your life also maybe travel somewhere maybe you want to build maybe, maybe you want to move somewhere and that's the foundations like setting foundations in a different place of the world um so yeah maybe some of you are traveling soon maybe you're gonna go to paris so that can be confirmation let's see your cards for today so i'm gonna start with some oracle cards for you poll number three and let's see the path that you're currently on where is it leading you to for my lovely poll number three universe Please give us a straightforward message of the path that they're currently on. Where is it leading them to? 
Can you please let Paul number three know what is the path that they're currently on leading them to? Okay, let's see. Let's see the two cards you have. First, you guys have transformation. Wow, so we see changes. Your path is leading you towards transformation, towards changes. These are going to be very pivotal changes as well. Beautiful. And you guys have forgiveness. Wow, okay. Forgiveness, I, I heard releasing, letting go of maybe past behaviors, past habits as well. Uh, forgiving or letting go of people in your life that don't serve you anymore. Uh, you know, the tower um, can oftentimes talk about like things falling apart, right? Uh, in the tarot. Um, but it's because those things weren't built on stable foundations, right? It's because those things, it's like we saw, we knew it was coming. We we saw it coming. Uh, that's kind of the, the tower in the tarot deck. Uh, but in this deck is about stability, is about building strong foundations. So I feel that there is going to be like that kind of transformation where you're starting to let go of things in your life that you just, you feel like it's not worth it anymore. Like you feel like you can do better, you can build stronger, you can do, you know, things in a different way, in a much more stable way. So I feel that with the path that you're currently on, it's going to lead you to a lot of transformation and it all begins with you forgiving. Uh, and you know, forgiveness, when I say forgiveness, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to mean like, oh, I'm accepting this person's apology. It just means like letting go. Uh, letting go, sometimes it, it means forgiving ourselves, right? Uh, letting go of things that we have been holding on to that have been preventing us from making changes, from making transformations. Um, maybe it's also things that we have been identifying with. Maybe it's habits or addictions that we have been having. So I see you guys releasing things out of your life that just don't do you right. They don't do you good. Uh, and with this transformation, you're going to start to work more on building solid foundations. Maybe this is the process that you have been in through, going through recently. Uh, so just letting go of things that don't serve you anymore and accepting things that do. This is going to lead to a much stronger foundation long term for you guys. So I see something about your foundations changing. And I also also mentioned about your self-esteem and your confidence level rising. So when we let go of things in, low, in our life that don't serve us anymore, that don't make us happy, it's ultimately going to resolve to our self-esteem rising, our confidence rising. And when we feel more confident, um, we tend to, you know, put out better actions into the world, which then results into our life being better, right? So it, it you know, it all just stems from us becoming a better person, thus our life becomes better and the people around us become better so it all comes from the self-confidence it all comes from within this card can also talk about the ego as well right so personality ego personality i feel there is some kind of change in your personality here that's bettering which is going to give you a better outcome in life okay so let's see your tarot cards here what is this transformation about for you pal number three Universe, can you please let us know where is the path that pal number three is currently on leading them to? Where is your path currently leading you to? Okay, we'll just do four cards today and let's see. So the first one, Temperance. Yeah, Temperance, um, you know, it's like the kind of energy of like try trying things out figuring things out, uh, being into balance as well, being into peace. Uh, I kind of feel a lot of you have retrieved maybe a little bit here. Uh, maybe you have stepped kind of a bit more like uh, within, I want to say, because of the changes that you have been wanting to make. So maybe some of you have been reflecting recently. Uh, you have been reflecting about life and you have been trying to make changes. Um, I feel it's working. There's also like... Um, the energy of like you have been maybe trying different things or maybe trying to pursue different things, um, habits, implementing habits that will better your life. I feel that you have been actively trying to improve yourself and change things about yourself that you haven't been liking uh, or you think that you can be like, can make you feel better. You also have the Six of Cups. Yeah, look at this. You have been in the process. I feel uh, the butterfly and then we have here the 
stages of the flower blooming so you know the process of the butterfly it's it's the same right but it's just here is with the flower and here is with the butterfly um the process of you know the butterfly transforming from the cocoon to the butterfly it's the same as here with the blooming so i do feel a lot of you have been in that process of tra self transformation maybe that is the transformation card uh, definitely you guys have been working on yourself a lot like that's the main thing that i'm getting here uh you also have the nine of pentacles wow okay so i see finances coming in your life um and yeah king of pentacles i said it <laughs> there is money coming in your life this path that you're going on i see i'm seeing financial returns maybe you guys have been investing in yourself um, but I feel that as a result of this change that you're making, first of all, I am kind of getting the journey that you guys have been going on has been one of self-transformation. Um, so whether that is like investing in yourself, investing in your skills, right? Uh, working on your health, um, networking, connecting with people, um, you know, releasing old baggage, whatever it has been i feel that a lot of you have been working on your self-confidence self-esteem and personality bettering yourself as a person so as a result of this where's this journey leading you to you guys are going to start to put action from a um a sort of like a completely new and different person because i feel like you guys are transforming into the king of pentacles which is very mature very wise very like uh, knowledgeable um type energy you know the the king of pentacles they're so wealthy but their their energy is so grounded and wise and um it's it's not like that wealth where it's like greedy and it's all about making money it's the wealth where it's like we're very grounded in the reality and we're very wise and we're really smart with the money and the wealth so i feel a lot of you're gonna start to put action from that point of view of a person who's very grounded who's very wise and as a result of that you're gonna start to see more money coming in your life because it all comes from our actions you know for every action in the world there is going to be a reaction it's just impossible you know it's the law right it's the law it's the how the world works every action that we put out into the universe has some sort of return or reaction to us and um, depending on the action the reaction is also going to depend right so you're starting to put action from a different point of view is what i'm seeing from a different point of personality different point of ego and as a result there is going to be more money in your life i see growth in your business as well some of you have your own business this card is all about growth in business which um it then evolves into luxury and abundance and wealth so i see growth in your business like uh quite a big quite a bit here more finances more clients maybe if you have that maybe a promotion as well but i do see an improvement yeah if some of you have been working towards a promotion i'm definitely seeing that as a possibility here because I'm, as i mentioned it feels like you're building strong foundations so there's something you know in the tower um i see change in your status as well like change in your position definitely i feel that there is something about your job here that's improving let's see what else from my lovely poem number three universe where is this path leading them to wow sun find balance yeah with the temperance look at this you guys have been working on finding balance i feel balancing out your energy yeah and it's working i feel that this path is leading you towards more balance and when we're in the balanced energy, you know, that's that's what you need. You don't need anything else. Um, you know, when you have balance, when you have wisdom, you have everything. Because then you can attract everything. It's not about just asking the universe to just give you maybe more money or give you more happiness or give you more people in your life. It's about asking the universe give me balance, you know, give me the right kind of mindset, give me the right kind of wisdom, because when you have that, you have everything, you can have everything that you want, and then you don't have to be always in that energy of asking, 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 but when you become the person, you can have, you can have whatever you want, so uh, I feel that you guys are finding balance, this is going to help you to get anything else that you want in your life, let's see what else, poem number three, where is your current path leading you to? All right, let's see. Let me pick up your cards. Okay. 
it always gets so me um, messed up. Okay, let's see your cards here. So your first one, sorry, you have 1111. Wow, so maybe this is a sign you have been seeing a lot. 1111 means you're on the right path, you're in, in alignment. Um, and you guys also have letting go. Yeah, forgiveness, letting go, releasing. I was saying this is a big thing. You guys are starting to release like a lot of um, old patterns, behaviors, um, ways of thinking that don't serve you anymore. Forgiving maybe, right? Letting go of people that don't serve you, things that don't serve you. And you guys are aligning yourself towards a path that is more abundant, that's more wise, more mature, more wise. Yeah, beautiful. Let's get one more card to end your reading here. Yeah, and I just saw the number 1313. So I definitely feel that you guys are in that process, you know, of transition, of change, putting things to sleep that just don't, you know, letting go, right? Don't putting things to an end that don't serve you anymore. Let's see. I will get an angel card to end your reading here. So maybe a number that you haven't seen will come out, but we also have the number 1111 here. So from my lovely poll number three universe, what is the message that you want to tell them? Where is the path that they're currently on for leading them to? Okay, let's see. So you have three, three. Wow, okay. 11, 11, three, three. So the number 13 is very significant for you guys. Yeah. So let's see. I am expanding. Yeah, it does feel like you guys are expanding as I was saying, like, um, any positive changes or projects you are considering right now will be worth your while. Expect that your power to manifest and create will be heightened. Wow, this is exactly what I was saying. Um, so I feel that a lot of you, you have been wanting to make positive changes to your life, you know? And you can start small. It can be just as like waking up earlier or uh, being a more clean and organized person or, you know, going to the gym or eating healthier. And slowly but surely, you guys, are. I feel like you're building up like um, your self-esteem. You're building up yourself as a person, your personality. So these positive changes and these projects that you guys have been considering, um, especially about projects, I feel that like they can lead to a lot of wealth for you guys and a lot of positive changes. But I feel that the path that you're currently on, you want to change things, right? You have a lot about the number 13, which is, as I said, the death card. So a lot of changes are currently happening in your life or you have been considering to make a lot of changes. You have been working up towards a lot of changes. So this is the right thing for you. Letting go of things and welcoming new things is the, you know, that's change, right? Um, it's going to allow you to expand. It's going to allow you to manifest, as I mentioned, the things that you have been wanting much easier. So it does kind of feel like you guys are in the process of figuring things out and making changes. And this is going to lead to a lot more stability in your life. And I feel to a lot more wealth and abundance, especially when it comes to your work and you as a person. You, know, It feels like you're, you're working towards becoming a more... Uh, you know, the person who would attract money, the person who would attract wealth and success in their life. So you are expanding, right? With the path that you're currently on, you're expanding. It feels like you're building yourself. It feels like you're um, evolving uh, in a much, much like more mature and wise person. So that's what I have for you today, poll number three. I hope that this re reading resonated with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.